In my mind There is nothing left to do But stay behind Well I find What is wrong about the way I treat my kind Where's the March 12, 2001, Novosibirsk Street, approximately around 9.23 a.m., the nuclear power plant experienced systematic complications, which led to the system override. The staff had exactly four minutes and 59 seconds to evacuate. Once the time was up, the building went on an automatic lockdown, keeping everyone left inside locked in. The pressure from the power plant didn't seem to stop. It built up over time, creating a high pressure. The pressure was so extraordinary that it started to damage the pipe from the inside, creating an ember, which caused an explosion. An explosion that reached the city nearby, infecting thousands upon thousands of people in matter of minutes. The national security arrived an hour and 30 minutes later, witnessing the most brutal massacre, not knowing where to begin. The families that once lived there were laying there, motionless. The military proceeded with the mission, trying to help most in need. People that remained alive on the scene were dead 10 minutes later due to overdose, what seemed to be botulinum toxins. Meanwhile, the virus that was created by the power plant kept on spreading hours on out due to the wind force and the temperature that day. By the next day, 16 major cities in Russia were impacted by the virus, killing out 12 cities and infecting four others. Russia declared national lockdown. lockdown. The country completely banned traveling until further notice, leaving tourists, reporters and other travelers from other countries on quarantine, which led to riots and vandalism within the perimeters of Russia. 24 hours later, people that were once infected and gone, raised from the dead. The country is now split by two organizations, giants. Those are the people who to this day obey and implement the law. They are based off of well-trained military soldiers, and they are willing to do everything in order to remain powerful and fearful. The second organization is known as the Vultures. Those are thieves, criminals, and regular civilians. They only worry about the survival element, and they are willing to do anything in order to see another day. No sign of hope or faith in humanity. We were hit, hit by something outside of our control. The only question remaining is what could have prevented all of this. And most importantly, how do we stop the worst to come? The Russians were running lab experiments. Those experiments were divided into two different categories. At first, everything seemed to go according to the plan. But little did we know that was the beginning of what we call an outbreak. Maybe the prophecy was right after all.
When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth, and there's no way in hell any of us could have prevented any of this. Radiation. It has neither smell nor color. It has only a voice. Here it is. Ground to watch tower. Do you read? Ground to watch tower. Do you read? Да, ситуация намного сложнее. Погода меняется, в общем, от меня не услышите. Yes, use English instead. Your Russian is awful. Listen, Private. I took Russian for three years in college. Well, there was waste of your time then. What seems to be the issue? Code 87. Tornado, you heard me. Nice and clear. That's impossible. Ruslan, you said a tornado. We haven't seen tornado in years. I suppose today is my lucky day then. Private Makovsky out. Be careful, Ruslan. May your guardian angel be with you. Tell my son... Ruslan was born in Dnipropetrovsk, which is one of the biggest cities in Ukraine. 16 years ago, he moved to Russia, Lenovia, had to leave his home country for a job opportunity. Can you believe it? For a fucking job opportunity, leaving his family behind. Reception must be damaged. Great. Of course, the shit can't get any worse. God damn it. At least the weather is good now. I'm running low on supplies. Of course, it was before the world went to shit. He would have given up a long time ago. If it wasn't for his son Nikita, he brought him over here with him. And now, Ruslan's son is his only hope to push through this. And so the story begins. 